Atlanta Eats is back. What happens when you bring the sophistication of the big city to the charming area of historical College Park? Well, you're gonna get a refined meat and three. This is great Southern food. For a pork lover's paradise, get the three little pigs. If you want a sandwich that everybody's gonna be talking about, it's gotta be the barnyard pimp. I have got to sink my teeth into that. So let's hit the pig in the pie. This neighborhood of Historic College Park is growing really fast. A lot of the restaurants are small and local and it just has a great vibe to it. Pig of the Pint is a modern meat and three, serving a lot of great local craft beer, all fresh food scratch kitchen, fresh vegetables, freshly butchered meats. The chef and I became friends about 10 years ago. We've been in the business combined over 50 years together and we wanted our own place. Dennis and I knew that we wanted something that is not easily found everywhere else. The Meet and Three gives an opportunity for people to come in here seven straight nights and have a different meal every night. This feels so comfortable, like I feel like I'm a part of the family when I come here. That's the way they make you feel, and then the home cooked food makes the difference, and it's always something you want to come back for. It feels very kind of like down home, obviously very southern inspired. Um, it feels like the type of place where everyone kind of knows each other, regulars come in a lot. This is your first time here at the Pig yeah. in the Pie. Yeah. So what's your overall impression? It's a great ambience, really. It's something that you can feel comfortable and you can enjoy yourself, have a good time with friends. It's a beautiful thing to uh, be able to do what I want, play with food. Uh, we do that a lot here. While we have a pig in the name, a lot of people assume that we're straight barbecue. We do do a lot of smoked meats but we do everything from rabbit to lamb to duck, all fresh vegetables, southern style vegetables, but not necessarily very heavy with the cream and the butter. It's a deeply southern concept. What do I absolutely have to order? Smoked wings. You gotta get the smoked wings, they are delicious. Um, I probably had them 10 plus times. Fried chicken livers are great. They're always tender. Best chicken livers I've ever had in my life. Well, I'm going to order the mac and cheese. Oh, very I had good. That before it's delicious. People come in here and they're like, oh, we came back for the mac and cheese. It's just that good. So, when it comes to Southern food and a meat and three, what comes to mind? Oh, well, you gotta have a brisket somewhere in there, a fried chicken of some sort. Have you had the fried chicken before? Yes, I love it. Today, we're gonna make the barnyard pimp sandwich. We're gonna butter our fresh onion roll and drop it on the flat top. Smoke bacon, we cure and smoke our own bacon every day. While that's cooking, we'll uh, try a side of the sauteed Merloton squash. This is the Jack Fire apple butter barbecue sauce. Crispy fried chicken breast with avocado. A pick just to hold it all together. That is the barnyard pimp with sauteed Merloton squash. It's all happening as part of the ATL Airport District Restaurant Week. And we've got more coming up on Atlanta Eats. Atlanta Eats is back. This isn't your first time at the Pig and Pint. Definitely not. I've been here a few times before. Tell me why you love it so much. It feels like such a great community vibe here. It's a great place to come after work with your team or with friends and just have a, a drink or two and, and appetizers. And you just feel comfortable coming in here. Tell me what you ate tonight. Uh, I just had the, little, the three little pigs. It's fresh crispy pork rinds, pulled pork, and jalapenos stuffed with cream cheese and fresh bacon. Pork on pork on pork, but it's delicious. Chef has a rabbit dish that he prepares. You can't miss. So this dish we call Elmer Fudd's Revenge. It is a cream braised rabbit foreleg and hind leg, fried rabbit tenderloin, and make a stock and use that with some of the braising cream to make the gravy for the top of it. Save room for dessert because the pastry chef does do an incredible job, so you gotta keep that in mind. My pastry chef is back there making some of the finest maple pecan pie, stuffed cupcakes, fresh ice cream. We are making a maple pecan pie. It takes about a quart of pie mix, butter, maple syrup, some other secret stuff to the oven. Talk to me about some of the craft beers. Are you a beer guy? 
Uh, I am a beer guy. Uh, I like my IPAs. Uh, they have double IPAs. They have a variety of, of different ones, and they taste awful good. Is it important to you that they carry so many local brews? Actually, yes, because I'm very picky with what I choose. We wanted to emphasize our craft beers. We do all Georgia craft beers, and not just Atlanta. We use beers from Savannah, beers from Fairburn, Cherry Street up in uh, Cumming, Georgia. The dining scene is growing pretty rapidly down here. We've got a lot of new places that have opened in the last two years since we've been opened. Definitely easy to come die here anytime and grab a drink with friends. From College Park, and we love College Park. We love being close to the city, but yet having your own little area that you're in. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Exactly. And great food. College Park is on fire at the Pig and the Pint. Get your Southern Fair Fill with buttermilk fried chicken livers appetizer to start. Then behold the power of brisket with 10 hours of beer braised goodness served with inventive farm to table sides. Finally, sink your fork into a slice of a maple pecan pie made on site daily. Now that's the perfect order. It's the ATL Airport District Restaurant Week on Atlanta Eats.